when trying to pick a compressor, you may want to look at what vehicles you're dealing with. Um, you don't have to have a big tire to say, wow, I need a big compressor, because usually the larger the tire, the less PSI we need to hold up the load, because the tire has more surface area. The, uh, a 33 inch tire, for example, has close to 30 gallons of air in it. And people say, ah, oh, there's no way it's got 30 gallons. I say, well, imagine cutting a hole at the top of your tire and pouring in gallons of water. How many gallons would it take to fill up that tire? And all of a sudden the light bulb goes off and they're like, geez, you know, I've got 120 gallons of air that I got to refill after airing down. No wonder it's taking me 45 minutes to try to refill my tires up to 30 PSI. So a lot of times you pick in a compressor, a lot of it depends on what, not only the size of the tire you have, but the type. If you're running a 15 inch rim, a half ton or smaller trucks, usually those are light duty trucks. Uh, they have tires that range from 30 to 40 PSI on the high end when you're loaded, you don't need as big of a motor to fill that PSI quickly. If you're running even a stock size tire on something like an F Super Duty, that could be an 80 PSI tire. When you're fully loaded, you need the PSI to hold up that much weight because you don't have the surface area that a large tire does, so you make it up with more pressure. The higher the pressure, the harder the compressor has to work. So a lot of people say, well, you know, my tires are only stock size, but I run them at 80 PSI. Well, for a compressor, that could be harder than filling a 38 inch tire to 25 PSI because filling a uh, 25 PSI is like going down a flat highway at 55. Filling an 80 PSI tire, it's the same energy as climbing the steepest hill you can at, at highway speeds. So it all depends on so selection of compressors. What style of tire you have, the load range, the PSI you're going to be running it at, and also the size. Obviously, the bigger the tire, the more volume it has. So the bigger tire, the bigger t compressor will fill it faster. But a lot of times what really slows down compressors is once they get above that 50 PSA, PSI mark, it really starts to slow down because not only are they having to compress the molecules tighter and tighter, they're also pushing back on the compressor.